How's it going, guys? And welcome back to the old city. Now, I don't know where I am, but we're going to find out. Can't go that way. So we're going to go down here to this door. Possibly go inside? Or should I look around outside first? Hmm, let's see. I'm going to say let's go outside first. So I think that's where we have to go, but I don't think there's any doors or anything out here. Yeah. These dreams act as mirrors, like passive portraits of the complexities of the human mind. They paint self, just as ideas paint the universe. Dreams truly are the most honest form of introspection, even if I can only use them as an escape. Very, very interesting. Ha, ha. What is that on the wall? Oh, it's a that's a that's not a wall, that's a big ass bird. Of course, if this mirror is to be trusted, then I'm just as vile as the others. The contrast between my reality and this one tells me that I do not belong here. The only thing I have that they do not is a fondness for this new world. Holy crap. What is that? That is so awesome looking. Where do I go? Do I jump off? Alright, YOLO swag. 420. That was a chapter? Oh my, there was nothing to it. Okay, my dream. That felt like a dream, if anything. I actually knew the man who lived here. I believe his name was Solomon, though he insisted that the matter was irrelevant. During the few times we spoke, he seemed ungrateful to the point of mental masochism. He, he would consistently act as though you have somehow maliciously trapped him within your confines uh, to limit what can be done with the outside. I, of course, know you better. You and I have a special relationship. It's rain and man. Hallelujah. Rain and man. Earth man. Okay. God, there's so many different ways to go. Can I go in here? Can I open these up now? Okay. It's over here. More doors. More something. Such wow. Ooh. Oh. What is that? Alright, it's time to go through the door. Oh, there's a stairway over here, too? Hmm. Alright. I'll look up here first. Cans. What's over here? Oh. Oh, this is the top part. G-U-O. And a door for outside. Or something. Oh, just another area. Okay, that's probably where I was before. 
the bed. Nice. Sleep on that baby. Um. Okay. Oh, that's where we came in from. Mm-hmm. Okay. So now it's time to go through that one door. I guess I could just jump down here. Ah, you can't jump. Oh, you can. <laughs> so you can't go down there? The heck? I think there was a door upstairs, but I'm going to go through this door. This looks like the door you need to go through. Ooh. Whoa, what's that? This looks like a dead end, too. Whoa! I wasn't done looking around! Oh, okay. One giant leap for man! One small step for mankind! Wait. That's backwards. Wasn't it one small step for man, one giant leap for man? You guys are switching things up. I don't like it. Whoa, whoa, wait. Huh? There's not... Gotta get in the boat. We going fishing? Oh, snap. Let's go fishing. Oh, it's getting dark already. What is going on? Things are changing. I don't like it. Ah, oh! But if he could only have seen your qualities, your utilitarian and defensive necessity. Why? The dreams he created were his escape. I often feel as though they can only function as such. They have a marginal effect, yes, but the required time for any real impact is far too great. Dreams that contribute are a grain of sand on a shoreline far away from here, and Tarshish feels much closer. Oh, now that's red this time. It's not white. Oh. Why is he jumping backwards? And now there's no door there. Perfect. the exit. Perhaps his dreams were a ladder leading to uselessness. Perhaps my dreams are the same. One small step for a man, another useless corpse for mankind. Uh-huh. Is that so? How much do you know of the old world? Did you even exist? Were you thrown overboard when your fall occurred, floundering in a new and terrifying negativity? My transition was not a comfortable one, so in this we can feel a measure of companionship. <laughs> 